in this industry, yeah, we, we might smile at it, but in this industry, you know, you see many, many companies where they hide behind something, they don't show faces, they don't show anything, right? We, we are as transparent and as, as open as we can be, and we hope, we really hope that this will, will make people feel that we are actually people they can speak with if they are interested, and, and that will also um, portray some kind of trust and, and, and that we are open and honest people, and, and we just want the best for them. Walk me through some of the numbers. Walk me through some of your, you know, your your testing and and you know because I know this is, you know, you guys have been testing for years and years and years. You guys have just gobs of data that you've been testing for so many years. Tell me about yeah. uh, why why would somebody trust like so for example, if, if somebody were to you know, and, and like I said before, I'm not recommending that anybody does this, but if somebody were to do it, why would they trust you and why would they trust your company to do something like this? And, and you know, what type of hard data, what type of proof, what type of background testing do you, uh, do you guys have? Yeah, it's a good question and very, very fair uh, question. And of course, as you say, um, it's uh, it's trading. It is investing. It, it involves risk. So of course we, we got to say that. But um, to answer your question directly, we have done. We have spent thousands and thousands and thousands of hours of, of back testing. And for people who might not be familiar with that, what it means that you, you you have a strategy, and then you when you back test that strategy, it means that you go back to the charts and you look at this strategy back in time and see how it performed over over years. Right. Uh, in this case, we have. We have developed over the years, like we have found some strategies that work manually. Then we took these manual trading strategies and we put them into our automated trading systems and saw if they work right. First of all, um, we have taken probably for every for every um, automated strategy that we have, we ha that that is profitable. We have tested about ninety to hundred strategies before we found that one that worked. Then we took that one strategy and we have back tested that between 10 and 15 to 20 years back in time on the best possible data you can get on a chart. So that means the most mm -hmm. detailed specific mm -hmm. data you can get. So everything is included. Um, it's, it's like top professional data. And we back tested mm -hmm. these um, strategies. Uh, so in, in all kind of, you know, kind of like we tested them in, in so many different ways that to, to kind of like the word it is to stress test them, right? So in all kind of scenarios and all kind of market environments, if this happens, then that happens. And, and, you know, in hundreds and hundreds of different ways to make sure that they are solid and to make sure that they are not curve fitted in any way. Um, and then after that, when we have done all the backtesting, we have seen that they are actually profitable over years and in different market environments. After that, we have put our strategies in the live environment as well with our own funds. So we actually have our ourself, you know, it, it's just it's not it's not just something that we sell to other people or, or offer to other people. It's something that we actually have are involved in ourselves with our own funds, uh, not 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 just small, you know, one hundred dollars. You know, we we have significant capital within this. So we put our own risk in. So that also shows that you know it, it's something that we trust ourselves. And at the end of the day, of course, um, we wanna you know be you know open and transparent and uh, i also think a good way that people can trust us is that they can go to our website nothing is hidden you know they can contact us on socials they can contact us on website they can even you know they will get a reply we are not we're not hiding behind something we are not some weirdos you know it's it's like it's and th in this industry yeah we, we might smile at it but in this industry you know you see many many companies where they hide behind something they don't show faces they don't show anything right we, we are as transparent and as, as open as we can be and we hope we really hope that this will will make people feel that we are actually people they can speak with if they are interested and and that will also um, portray some kind of trust and 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 that we are open and honest people and and we just want the best for them actually can, can you yeah. can you can you maybe walk me through some scenarios or like for example uh, you know what are you trading? I, I think it's uh, your your. Well, tell me what you're trading, and and maybe 
give us an idea of, of maybe some, uh, some returns that you've back tested or even returns that you have experienced yourself? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So right now, currently, um, we, so we, we have several uh, automated trading strategies we trade ourselves. But currently, we, we offer one strategy uh, for the public. Um, and within this strategy, <clears throat> there is six instruments that we trade on this uh, this strategy, and we have uh, three currency pairs. So, a currency pair for the audience who, who are not familiar with it is uh, when you trade two currencies up against each other, right? So that might be the in our case it is US dollars again against the yen, right? Or it's the the, the pound against the uh, against the dollar right that that's a currency pair and we have three currency pairs and then we have dax which is a german index and then we have gold we trade gold against us dollar and then for the last one we have um gold uh, dax and uh oh, just uh, gold and, and oil, oil sorry uh, so okay. and then we have oil as well so we trade those three instruments okay. and then three pairs right okay for especially for a, a little caveat here for our U.S. clients, um, they are, unless they're institutional investors, uh, then a lot of uh, U.S. Uh, people over there with you can't trade oil and they can't trade DAX, right? But in that okay. case, we have made a specific portfolio for our U.S. clients where where they don't trade these, but but they are still getting a good return from from the other four instruments that they still trade, right? So that's okay. for the U.S. guy, but for everybody else, they can trade tra the full full uh, portfolio. Um, in terms of uh, then, your next question was in in terms of returns. Then we have seen. It has to be said the returns I'm speaking about right now is based on every single trade that we take. We we have a high, um, high threshold for risk management, meaning that it's 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 crucial for us, right? So. We have a very low risk strategy, which means that on every trade we put into the market, we only risk 0.3% uh, as a default uh, on our trades, right? Our clients can do whatever they want. Like they can set this up or set this down, but as a default, this is what we do, right? Um, and why, why do you do that? By, why, why, why do you do that? What, what's the, the, the thinking behind setting up your, your risk tolerance so low? Uh, it's a good question, and the the thing behind it is, if you're risking, let's say you're risking one percent per trade, or two percent per trade, or one and a half percent per trade, what what not, right? Our uh, strategy is uh, one that trades quite often, so meaning that it takes quite a lot of trades. And if you, as a as a, we are all human beings, right? And if you see a big big draw, let, let's say you have invested one hundred k or fifty k or one million. You know, dollars, whatever, it doesn't really matter. It depends on where you are in, in your journey, right? But when you see a big, big drawdown on your account, try to imagine, reflect on how that will affect your psychology and, and how you will then stick. As a non-professional trader, how, how will you then be able to stick to a strategy if you see a big, big drawdown, right? Not a lot of, I, I can tell you, also from my own experience, I can tell you not a lot of people will then be able to stick to the strategy if they see a big drawdown. However, if we risk a lower amount, uh, percentage amount per trade, then our drawdowns will still be, or will not still, they will be much, much lower because we risk less per trade, right? But then people will say, then your, your returns is also lower. Yes, correct. But we are in it for the long term. We are not in it to get rich quick tomorrow. We are in it to, to, to good, win over good, the long good. term. So, so, so we are happy to risk lower and then wait a little bit longer. And with the strategy that we are offering for the public right now, we are still getting much better returns than what you would see if, if you just you know traded some kind of mutual funds or whatnot, right? Even though that we are risking really low. Um, so, so this is the the idea behind risking low because we know from ourselves that risking high just it, it, it's not a long term play to do that. So that's why we are risking low. We want to preserve our capital. That's that's one of the the main aims when you are in trading and in investing. You want to preserve your capital. If you like this video and you want to watch another one, click right here. If you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.